Hey people, <clears throat> out here on Roosevelt Lake today, doing a little walleye fishing. <clears throat> uh, fall patterns, fishing contours, uh, a couple good things about being out here in the fall. Uh, number one, there's nobody out here. You own the place. Number two, you get to listen to the tunes. No bitching from the other boaters. Music's too loud. You can't catch fish with music. And a third, of course, is, is, is limits of walleyes, and that's what we're out here today doing. I got an eight fish limit. Um, we're fishing real deep. I had a professional out here in a 21-foot <clears throat> lund, all decorated up. And uh, he, uh, he went shallow, big mistake. Uh, he was in about 50 foot of water, and he, he got out of here in about an hour and a half, no fish. Uh, let me show you a couple of fish I got here. I, I, oh, by the way, I was in 100 foot of water today, um, pulling spinners, uh, real slow, half mile, uh, mile an hour. So let me show you a couple of fish here real quick. There's some good, uh, good uh, Lake Roosevelt walleye eaters here. I do have one a little bit bigger. Let me grab that one real quick here. And then just a smidge bigger. Hey, that's what we're talking about right there, folks. That is a quality Lake Roosevelt walleye, about 29 and a half, close to 30. Problem is when these fish come out of that 100 foot, they're probably not gonna live. So this one's either possibly gonna go on the wall I'm not sure We're, we'll talk about it but most likely fish tacos and lots of them so that is a nice walleye this is a reason you don't put your uh, your boat away too early folks I know you want to get out there you want to hunt them pheasants you want to shoot your deer you got to get an elk but this is a reason that you resist that temptation good luck to you take her easy out